number 12, just about to get underway here. We have David Taylor representing Shaolin Tigers in the white shorts and fighting out of the blue corner. Squaring up against Kyle Rickman representing Taurus Gym. Kyle Rickman, AKA Doctor Who, a name he picked up for bearing a resemblance to David Tennant. Also known as just The Doctor. The Doctor wasting no time at all. Throwing in some big knees there, being wrapped up tight by David Tennant. Obviously, very noticeable height difference, height and reach difference here. Will the Doctor exploit that? <clears throat> or will Taylor keep him in close? Keep him in close and try and work the grapple. This is a tie boxing match. So, as opposed to most of the fights we've had tonight, they've been K1 rules. As long as these guys are continuing to work in the clinch, referee's going to let it carry on. Nice catch and, nice catch and leg kick there from uh, Taylor. Again, Taylor almost walking to the knee of the Doctor. Again, the Doctor scoring some, some points with those knees there. Not a great deal in terms of point scoring going on from Taylor in the clinch. So if he's going to tie it up and he's going to get in close, he wants to do more work when he actually gets there. And again, the Doctor using that height inside the clinch. This, this particular fight is, uh, is going to be formatted over five one and a half minute rounds. So you'll see shorter rapid fire rounds with an opportunity to, to recharge their batteries in between. So you can see quite a furious pace or sometimes they'll start really slow and then pick it up as the fight goes on. Be interesting to see how these guys play it. They've started off pretty fast. <laughs> Round number two. Round number two of potentially five getting underway here. Kyle Rickman in the black trunks, AKA Doctor Who, wasting no time at all, chasing down David Taylor in the white trunks. Closing him down, tying him up, and then using those knees to start scoring in this C-class Muay Thai bout. And Taylor trying to close the distance, that big swinging overhand right. Like I say, he's working his way into a clinch, and then not really managing to pull off a great deal when he's in there. The, the doctor, I say, is like leaning all over the top of him and using that extra leverage of his height to bend the neck of Taylor down and then start scoring with those knees. And also at the same time, making it difficult for Taylor to really start answering back with knees of his own. The low kicks there seem to be working quite well for Taylor. He's working the inside of that left kick on the outside with the right kick, chipping away at the leg of the Doctor. The Doctor doesn't seem to be checking those kicks, so that might not be the worst strategy in the world for David Taylor coming forward. It'll be interesting to see whether his corner team start to analyse that. That's the shot that's working for him. And with five rounds of fighting to go, if you start chipping away at that leg from the start, nice takedown there from Taylor. It'll be interesting to see if uh, he can capitalise on that shot that's working for him. Round three, the Doctor and David Taylor both coming out, getting the round underway with a couple of kicks. Again, in this clinch situation, I'd like to see Taylor doing more. His hips, his hips are lower than the Doctor's and use that to his advantage to sort of lift and throw his opponent rather than trying to outscore him with the knees, throw him about and then just keep attacking that leg. His low kicks are working for him. Both of these guys starting to look a little bit tired here, midpoint through the fight.
a strong looking body shot there from Taylor. It's nice, but Taylor's coming in to try and close that distance, but what does he do with it once he's there? That's the question. The doctor waiting, wasting no time at all, coming up a couple of sharp punches here. It'd be interesting to see whether these whether these two manage to keep the game striking or whether we go back to the clinch. And before I even manage to finish that sentence, here we are, back in the clinch. Again, nothing particularly meaningful going on in that clinch work. So the referee, I say, just separating them and letting them get back to it. Again, no meaningful shots really being landed here in the clinch work. The referee is almost certainly going to split them up. Here we go. These guys both looking exhausted now at this point, and say five rounds, even though they only are one and a half minute rounds, it really adds up. Fairly uneventful round there. Well, I believe this is actually round five, if I'm not mistaken. That's getting, uh, just getting going now. For the last time, Kyle, Dr. Who Rickman out of uh, Tourist Gym in the red corner. And uh, the Black Trunks versus David Taylor and the Shaolin Tigers in the blue corner. Much of what we've seen so far, these two, like I say, ending up in the clinch and a couple of nice shots there from uh, the Doctor. And Taylor wasting no time at all getting into the clinch, but there we go. We you see some action. This is where he seems strong. Gets in the clinch, throws his opponent around. His hips are lower, so it's going to be easier to lift his opponent up and just throw him across, just pick him up and throw him. He's going to have much more success there than he is getting his head bent down, trying to get into a knee exchange where the doctor is just dominating and has been the entirety of the fight. Uh, I wish I'd seen more of this from Taylor early on. Like I say, just getting hold of his opponent, pick him up, throw him, pick him up, throw him, rag him around all over the place. Doesn't want to be bent over like this. Final seconds of the round. And that is the end of that. And at the end of those five completing rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner, fighting out of the red corner, it's Kyle Rick